everybody out there, welcome back to Double Down Reviews. We got a new review today of the Hot Toys Training Wonder Woman from the movie Wonder Woman. Who would have thunk? Look at that. <clears throat> That's a sweet looking figure. He's a beaut, Clark. But before we take a look at this awesome figure, look at the box. <laughs> right back in. <laughs> look at the box. <laughs> Uh, the front of the box is just the Wonder Woman logo, it says Wonder Woman training armor version, and kind of this gold leather motif look to the entire thing. There's Wonder Woman on the side, has her logo on the top with some leather work. It says Leather Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I want something that says Leather Daddy. This is just a slip that holds the window box that shows the cradle and all the accessories and the figure and everything. And, the on the back. and gauntlets and credits on the back. Speaking of credits on the back, who's the, the head sculptor on this one? Whoever so young Lee is, he nailed it. Some young lady. This is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> awesome head sculpt on this figure. Is the... Oh, okay, it is. It's like a fabric. Yeah, it is like a fabric. It would, it, I couldn't tell if it was a mold. No, plastic. It's kind of like, it's almost like a really thin fabric with like an, I don't know, like an animal print on it or something. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. This has to be on there. But, uh, take a look at this figure. Um, pros and cons right off the bat. Uh, the ankle, or not the ankle, the sandals. The sandals are all one piece. It's kind of like a sandal wraps into like a boot heel thing down here. And this is like a really soft it's rubber. It's like a Spartan sandal with heels. <laughs> yeah, a really soft rubber here. And it's kind of like, I feel like they could warp easily. Mm -hmm. It's like if you have them in a weird pose, they might stick that way. Like the oh, individual yeah. bands might stick a little bit. Yeah. It also slightly hinders foot articulation, you know, if you want to move it around a little oh, bit. Oh, because that strap across the front. Yeah, it's all connected as one big piece. Not a big deal, but it does hinder ankles a little bit. These uh, seamless bodies are scary. <laughs> you don't you just like you don't know the how far you can bend them. Yeah, or, like you like, can't see you can't see how far the yeah. joint is being like, torqued. Okay, and you see the the hands are just on the usual hot toy wrist peg. They're kind of a soft rubber, so you can kind of open them up if you need to put the bow in there or the sword in there. Um, and the arms back. Is this just an elastic? Yeah, it's just an elastic that they used. Yeah, don't stretch it too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's said in the instructions not to go beyond like this. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't want to test it. I need to break it. Huh. And the the bow looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, all the accessories look sweet. We'll pull out the accessories <clears throat> in a second here. Uh, so here's the figure front. Back, all seamless body, no articulation lines except for the neck. Um, the the back has a big old ponytail on there, which I mean, I guess your head's not going to turn beyond yeah. that really, so it doesn't really hinder anything. Maybe looking up slightly. Does the skirt have? Like, any type of... No, it doesn't. Do you think, like, a wire or something in there? Yeah. No. It's a very it looks like it's just lightweight, sticking up. thin material. It might be sticking up just because I had it in the stand for stand. a couple of days. Yep. Uh, to take the gauntlets off her arms, you just pop the hands off and slide the gauntlet off. Does she come with another pair of gauntlets? Yeah. Like, real gauntlets? Um, they're, like, a glowing version. You know, like, when she, like, puts them together or whatever, and they, like... Oh. Glow. Let me open this thing up. Yeah, the seamless body is really cool. They did a really good job with it. Yeah, it looks awesome on that figure. It's just, they're scary articulation-wise. Does she it's, have, but yeah, she does, like, thigh cut? Yeah, I think the legs are actually separated under the skirt. You can see it's not, like, one piece under there. Yeah. Grab the sword in the stand over there. Wee. All right. So accessories, she comes with her two gauntlets that are on her currently. 
this arm sleeve cover bandage thing that you can pop her hand and gauntlet off and slide it up the arm. Goes on there. Her shield, which slides up the arm also. Is that just like how Captain America's shield works? Yeah, you just take the oh, hand off. Oh my god, yeah, just the hand and through. slide it right through. Yeah. And then the bow she uses in the beginning of the movie, you get three arrows that she can hold in her like bow hand, and they also like knock on the string also, there's a little slit in the back. Uh, and then she gets her alternate like glowing gauntlets, they're kind of like cast in like a translucent, and then they're like painted with like a yellow gold, kind of look like they're yeah. powered up or something. And so she's got done deflecting bullets from a M16. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, come on, damn. Anyway, I'm, I'm done. There's way worse problems with Justice League than that part. <laughs> I agree. It was just, it was the beginning when I went from sitting like this in my seat to slowly <laughs> oh sinking to the floor. What are we in for? She comes with six extra hands, the two she has, so she comes with eight hands total, and then she also comes with the sword stand and the. God killer. But is it really the God killer? You have to see the movie to find out. We'll never know. You never know. Plus the stand with this funky little. I don't know. Cold Medina. The stand's kind of stupid looking, I saw. I don't like these little stars over here. Yeah, that's a little. <laughs> they should have just made it look like a piece of Themyscira. Like the, yeah, uh, like the island yeah. or something. I don't know. Putting the stars on the side is a little Miss America for me. It looks kind of cheesy. Whatever. Whatever. Um. <laughs> I didn't even notice the stars. <laughs> I just like, took it out and I was like, what? <laughs> um, articulation wise, she's got the neck cut, little hindered looking up. She can look down, left, right, back and forth, all that. The arms are so scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, arms go up about that high. It tells you in the instructions all the like angles and stuff of like the max you can like yeah, bend something yeah. before you break it. She's got an elbow joint, so you can bend the elbows. The wrist is on a peg that goes on and off. Um, I don't know if, if this body's affected by it, but I know some Hot Toys, all rubber bodies are, so if you like hold them in a pose too long, they get like a crease in the skin. So watch out for that. Bend at your own risk. The only ones that I have that have the, well, I guess, I think the Force Awakens Ray mm -hmm. had the body, so but you, you can't the, see it because she has the, 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 the arm wrap. Um, otherwise, Hulk has the seamless arms, and oh, the Gladiator Thor has seamless arms. Oh, okay. She gave the little uh, backdrop diorama thing that shows the ocean and Steve Trevor's ship or uh, airplane crashing right into that rock. Right into the rock. No survivors. <laughs> <laughs> Just duck. Well, you, you can set these up like behind her stand. I don't know. I don't. There's. I don't have any room for them. Display. They're, I'm sure they're cooler if you have a bigger display. But they're kind of cool. The, the like the Doctor Strange one works because it's such a big uh, frame that they gave it. Like the Doctor Strange figure stands in the middle. You put that box behind it, and I mean it covers him. It gives him like a whole area that mm -hmm. looks like but the his stand is huge too. So yeah, it kind of like encompasses but that. The thing that's hard with that is. <clears throat> You have this space, and then you have that little thing. So you have Wonder Woman, and then you have that scene from the movie that goes from <laughs> here up. Like, yeah, it's kind of like it's she's just like this little tiny window standing in front of a picture or something. Yeah, it's like when uh, it's like what is that? High school like homecoming or whatever. They're like, you want to get a picture with your date? And it's just like a stupid like, red curtain backdrop. <laughs> That's what it is essentially. I think we were talking articulation. Yeah, you said the arms were scary. So, yeah, the, I mean any of the any of the hidden articulation points are always scary. So we had the elbow, the wrist, neck, shoulders. There's not really because she has like this hard plastic armor piece. It's not like a torso, mid torso cut. Mm -hmm. um, she has a waist cut. It feels like, but her skirt and belt kind of hold that all in place, so she doesn't really move there. Legs are two separate pieces so they're not like there's not like actual full rubber there oh there's like yeah that's weird it's kind of like they're on like little pegs yeah probably so, to allow to have like, I would assume more movement yeah movement but so yeah you can stretch the legs like that and then there is 
a knee joint. So you can bend the knees. <laughs> and then there is a uh, ball ankle, so forward cute. back. But the the sandal wrap kind of hinders that slightly. His hands. I don't know if I'm just not pushing him in far enough, or the gauntlets keeping it from going all the way in. Don't know. But yeah. He's got that cool gold armor on. He's got some leather strap work on here that looks nice. Um, the gauntlets look cool. There's kind of like some battle damage on there. Little nicks and dents. Uh, the sandals are fine, <clears throat> not super amazing, they kind of just look like a fake leather with some like snake skin or something at the front. Um, some hand wraps that look good, all the other hand wraps, are the, the hands in here have little hand wraps on them too. The hair looks great, the paint job on the face is awesome, uh, much better likeness on this than the Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman. That one? Yeah. It's, it looks good, but not this yeah, good. No, I, I agree. <laughs> I'm right there with you. And then the the skirt is like a soft, thin, so you can, whatever poses you want to do with that, that's not going to hinder it at all. So, looking at this figure, the accessories, the paint job, articulation, all that stuff, how many Linda Carters does this Wonder Woman get in your in your opinion. Um the sculpt is amazing. Accessories are fine because she doesn't really use anything more than this in the scenes she's in. The uh the real body looks awesome, but it does limit articulation. I'm gonna say eight I'm gonna say an eight. Eight Linda Carters? Yeah. That's not eight, bad. Eight, eight out of ten. And everything looks great. That's good. That's damn good. It's just the uh, articulation. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like bummed about the articulation because I can get the pose I want out of her. But it's so scary doing it. <laughs> You're like yeah. slowly inching everything. Yep. Like, uh, um, yeah, eight, eight point five. Going there. That's pretty solid. Uh, what was the price point on her? Uh, two thirty nine ninety nine. <clears throat> I did one step. My ankle would. <laughs> Just explode. Is that as far as her arms go down? I now I know what you mean. I wouldn't go any further. Yeah, now that. I know what you mean. You're like, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. It's the same height. I'm speaking of oh. speaking of height, it's measurement time. Clobbering time. A little over 12 inches. Just slightly over 12 inches with her little like pompadour do and same with this one so there yeah there was pompadour do she's kind of got a little poof on the front this is a really good looking figure though it's a great looking figure and pompadour hair sells it all <laughs> <clears throat> I've, I've never seen this one up close do her butt cheeks hang out that much in the movie i don't know like that seems really short Anybody, if you have the answer to that, because that seems super short. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I never paid attention. She stands in the case facing yeah, out, yeah. so I never see the back of it. That's what I mean. Like, all I've seen was her from the front. So then I was, like, looking at the lasso, I'm like, wait a second. Hot Toys are just a bunch of preverts. That's on you. We know what you're up to. <laughs> uh, also, the, yeah, this comes out here. I don't know if I said that, but she can hold it. She can be posed with this. The sword and the shield, or they can just stand next to her like it is on display in the movie. And I like the amount of detail that's on the sword. Also, you can oh, see yeah. all the runes and all that stuff yeah, in there, the etchings and, and the, the hilt details. There, it's got a nice like reflective silver paint job and then gold on the handle. Are these the same? They're not the same sword. Interesting. No. Interesting. Cool. Did you ever see Wonder Woman? Yeah, that was a cool movie. Uh, difference in shields, this is the training shield she has with this figure, and then this was the figure from Batman vs. Superman over here. I'd give this one a 7. This one an 8. Eight and a half. We're not reviewing this figure, though, so who cares about the score? <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is, 
if you liked the movie Wonder Woman and you preferred Wonder Woman over Batman vs. Superman, maybe you should think about purchasing <laughs> the armor. Well, this, this the training one, armor version. Yeah. They're, they're doing a Justice League Wonder Woman, which looks better than this one. Kind of more on par with this one, face sculpt-wise. But I already have this one, and I don't want another one in the same suit, basically. So this one is at least somewhat different to be on the shelf. It's like different... No, costume, I totally, I totally different agree. Different head sculpt, different hairstyle, so... If you want a Wonder Woman in the costume, wait for the Justice League one. If you want this awesome head sculpt and training stuff, you can't go wrong with this. 8.5 Linda Carter's out of 10.